Hi, my name is Nick Merrill, and I want to tell you about a project that I'm working on that has the potential to transform the telecommunications industry. I ran one of the first internet providers in New York. Somewhere around 10 years into that project, I got in a tangle with the FBI. In early 2004, an FBI agent visited Nicholas Merrill and handed him a national security letter that ordered him to hand over detailed private records about some of his customers. As an internet provider or a systems administrator or a telephone technician, you have a lot of information uh, that paints a really vivid picture about people's personal, private lives and communications, and I believe that comes with a great degree of responsibility. I'm still mostly under the gag order, so I can't actually describe to you the types of information that were sought. Um, I can't uh, tell you who the client was or what they did, um, but I can tell you that most of the clients that I had were, were either businesses that you know well, like you know Mitsubishi Motors and Ikea and Snapple and people like that, or uh, independent media outlets. You know, in the interests um, of disclo full disclosure, we were one of your clients, and you're, yeah, That's we uh, worked with Kalex. We worked yes. with you. Yes. Did the FBI ask about us? Rather than hand over the information, I said no, and I got involved in a constitutional law case in the court system, which challenged the constitutionality of national security letters. Even at that point, the, the case was known as Doe versus Ashcroft because my name and my company name couldn't be made public. After Mr. Ashcroft left, it became uh, Doe versus Mukasey. And then after Mr. Mukasey left, it became Doe versus Gonzalez. And finally, it ended up being called Doe versus Holder. It seemed to me it was, it was a moral obligation I had to protect the privacy of my clients. And so what I decided to do was try to start a, a nonprofit organization whose goal is to um, promote best practices with regards to privacy in the telecommunications industry. An internet provider that puts your privacy first. Sound like a dream? Well, someone wants to make it a reality. His name is Nicholas Merrill, and he's aiming to build a telecommunications company that shields customers from surveillance. Uh, the name of it is the Calix Institute. Uh, the project aims to raise enough money to fund the development of the first mass market deployment of a new open source and dead end-to-end -end encrypted internet communications platform. Uh, the first products that would be rolled out would be a virtual private network system uh, using uh, wireless access in 70 markets across the US. Uh, the second product that would be coming after that would be uh, an encrypted cloud storage and file synchronization system. Uh, and following soon after that would be an encrypted email system and chat. Uh, basically using public key cryptography. Uh, then after that, uh, the bigger stage that I'm really looking forward to is doing a voice over IP and mobile phone network. Um, uh, we have partners working on the software already. Uh, they're totally focused on the core technology, but not the mass deployment angle. Uh, that's where Calyx and your support come in. The one piece missing right now is funding. Uh, so we're doing this crowdsourced funding campaign to try to raise the funds to get the organization off the ground. Thanks for your time and uh, talk with you soon.